Hey, so often people buy uh, Google inbox and then they are trying to figure out how to do these emails for like support, info, billing, et cetera. And there's something called a catch all. And I was surprised to find out a lot of people don't know what a catch all is. So I figured I'd do a real quick short video explaining to you how it is. So if you're in your admin console, you'll need admin rights, you'll need a Google admin, like a Google business account. But if you want to save workspaces and be intelligent, I'm going to show you how to do this. This happens to be our bums AI. So I'm not showing you some of the active ones. This is a newer one. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go in and you're going to go into apps and you're in Google workspaces. You'll come down to Gmail. As you get here, you're going to go into your default routing and you're going to open this up. I already had this rule added, but let's go ahead and add another rule here real quick. We're going to add another rule. We're going to say single recipient. Um, actually, what we're going to do is do all recipients. And what we're going to do is go down and say, so follow me here. I'm going to prepend it because I want to know it was not an address. So I'm going to say catch all. So this is just changing like the subject, right? So catch all, that's going to have your subject. Put a space right there so it looks better. And then what I'm going to do is come down. And what I'm going to do is uh, change the envelope recipient. And I want all my emails that come to an address that doesn't exist. So for example, boss up at bums.ai, you at bums.ai, go fuck yourself at bums.ai. Whatever it might be, it doesn't matter. You can do this and it's going to make it very easy. So I'm going to put send it to there. And what I'm going to do here to make sure it works good is this option right here performs action only on non recognized addresses. And I would save it. Now, these two rules that I just created are going to fight each other. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. But just so you know, that's how you create a catch all inside of Gmail. Very easy to do and just helps you do it. And then if you test it and you actually send an email out to that inbox, it's going to go to support and you're set.